This episode of the Helping Healing Humor podcast is brought to you in partnership with TKM Inc. TKM stands for The King's Men. They pride themselves on being hardworking, honest, and dependable. They put an emphasis on serving Christ by serving others. Their scope of work cover road construction, small dirt work and excavating, heavy hauling in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Georgia. They can be reached at 931-243-3958, and they are located at 10635 Clay County Highway, Moss, Tennessee, 38575. You can also find more information at benandtravis.com backslash TKM. TKM Inc. is also a sponsor of the Batify Freedom 5K and Fun Run on July the 10th at Mars Hill Bible School. We would love for you to come run with us in person or do it virtually. You can register at benandtravis.bigcartel.com. That's benandtravis.bigcartel.com. Welcome in the Helping Healing Humor podcast with Ben and Travis. I'm Travis Creasy with Ben Hayes, as always, coming to you from one of the coolest places that we have ever stayed. Together, separate, whatever, we're coming to you from a houseboat on Dale Hollow Lake. Yes. And it is no. fantastic. Yeah. So it's, it's right on the cool. Tennessee Kentucky line. Um the, the the lake sort of is a man made lake. If you haven't looked it up, look it up sometime. I'd never been here before, had never thought about it before, but started looking at it and it's like this just spider web of a lake that just stretches out all over the place. But it's kind of between the Kentucky or Kentucky and Tennessee, it's kind of right on the line. So, um, think maybe not sure if the Cumberland River has something to do with it or if it feeds into something else. But anyway, just a fantastic little place. Um, and it's beautiful, uh, rolling hills kind of around where beautiful. we're at, uh, hills and valleys with cool little towns around us. So, um, from where we're recording at the houseboat. Uh, over to the church is what about forty five minute to fifty minute drive, yeah. but well worth the Beautiful drive. drive. Cool Beautiful drive. Cool little towns, uh, Salina, Tennessee, um, was a little town that we went through. Uh, just really quaint yeah. little place. Really and nice. So, um, get to speak. Uh, talked a little Q and A tonight. Get to speak yeah. a couple of times tomorrow. Hanging out with a cool, really cool congregation. Had a little ice yeah. cream. That type of stuff. I think tonight. there was actually a couple. Of congregations present some yeah. that hang out with us at cyc occasionally and so uh and of course our <laughs> wonderful guests that are joining us via the mug at the houseboat are the golden girls hashtag squad goals mug which i had to bust out so it's good to have them with us yeah, it's really great to have them again with us, for another so. podcast so we're just going to talk about thank some you of the- thank you Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about some of the cool places that we've stayed, whether it's mission trips or on vacation or whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, this obviously ranks up there as one of the coolest deals. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, it's it um, really is. And, you know, let me say, our um, you know, what we get to do is just one of the coolest things anyway is I love to go and meet people at other churches, meet people in other towns, um, whether it's with, uh, you know, most of the time when I'm doing that, it's, you know, we're going to different churches and speaking. Uh, I got to do that a couple of weeks ago uh, to start the summer with my family. We went on a little tour of uh, Missouri, um, and so we spent some time with some congregations, uh, really two congregations. We were supposed to with two. COVID got in the way of one of them, but it's just some families that we love and know, um, and so we spent some time doing that. And then this is another one of those. We've never been here before, but we get here, and it's just really cool. They let us stay in already this, ready to come back. this place. <laughs> so what? We're already ready to come yeah, back. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, it's a, it's an awesome place. Gave us some you know, hats, some really cool T-shirts that the guy makes. Um, and so we're just, you know. Yeah, I was in Bridgeport really the good. other night, Wednesday night, and there was a lady there that said, Hey, I've signed up for the run. Hope I haven't missed it. And I was like, oh, it's July the 10th. You can do it virtually. So that's pretty cool. Different people around the world, around the country, uh, doing the run, getting ready to go. And, of course, we'd like for you to, uh, yeah, to think, do that along with us. Yeah, so. and you can do that uh, here in the States. I think we've got some listeners in other countries. So oh, yeah. I mean, you, you guys feel wherever free to you jump find in. yourself. But Don't know how you found us, but we're glad you did. Some of the cool places that we've stayed. You, you mentioned a couple when we were 
off uh, off the air. Oh, I guess you could call it that. Yeah, uh, off the air. <laughs> whatever that may means. Um, I guess one of the coolest places I've ever stayed uh, was we. I went to Jamaica. Uh, went to Jamaica and uh, making me I mean, crazy. right there on the beach. That was beautiful. It was cool. They had a a guy out there selling his bobbles. He's sitting out on a little you know boat all day and he'd sing a couple of songs. So that was pretty cool. And um, you know, one of the other places I've been, I've been to Singapore, and like the most ritzy Holiday Inn I've ever stayed in. I think it was a Holiday Inn, but it was this high rise, and I mean, like, goes yeah. way up. It might have stayed in that uh, one too. It, it had a deck you could step out on, and I mean, just the beautiful city of Singapore was one of the cleanest cities in the world. I, I was just there for one night on probably kind of like you Same were now. with the barriers, uh, moving through, and uh, probably stayed the same place, but very clean city. Uh, amazing uh, view. I don't remember the city real well. I think I must have been tired because that that one just doesn't stand out. I remember kind of riding through the streets a little bit, but um, but yeah, super super interesting place. Um, uh, one trip I did that I stayed in some some cool places was uh, we did a mission trip to Scotland. Uh, Wes Howell and I went and stayed with the Gears in Scotland, but part of that trip was going to a, a camp, kind of like summer camp, but they would rent out. A place and then they would use the space there so instead of having like Maywood or Backwoods Bible Camp or you know Camp Maribah or Wiregrass or whatever they had just they would go to different camps in the country rent out the space and then use that as the camp so if they ran out of rooms they had to you know throw tents up in the yard and so um, these two Alabama boys left the 95 96 uh, degree weather in July and flew to Scotland where it's not quite as hot and um, we got out immediately they took us to the camp because the first week we were there we were at the camp and put us in tents and I think it was probably like 50 or 60 degrees at night and we were in tents Ooh. and so not that I can't you know I'm, I'm used to the cold but I wasn't quite prepared that it was going to be that cool in the summertime and it might not have been quite that cool but it felt that way after coming from the the 90s here so that was pretty cool and then um, on our way back we couldn't get uh, a flight home from uh, Newark New Jersey uh, that night when we landed the, all the flights got canceled so we started trying to call around couldn't find a place to stay finally called this was in 2000 so we called the um, it was the World Trade Center Marriott and so we got the opportunity to go and stay there in the on like the 33rd floor and we walked in it was Wes Howell and I with our backpacks on blue jeans t-shirts ball caps and everybody in there it was kind of like that scene in Home Alone where yeah. Donald Trump meets him you know and it's all these different people are dressed in suits and here's this little boy going to come into this ritzy no. you know, hotel kind of felt like that when we walked in they looked at us really funny and we we're like we need two rooms and, and or we need a room with two beds went up there had like the robes you know the bathrobes hanging and stuff it was weird um but i believe as as, as far as i could figure out it was one of the the buildings that came down with the towers because wow. it was right next door to the to the twin towers and that was a year before that happened so that was pretty crazy that we got to experience yeah. that so wow i uh on the same trip the singapore trip we got to uh new delhi in india and i got to stay a night or two i was so jet lagged i really couldn't remember i enjoyed the sleep but i was in a sleeper car on a train uh and it was i believe it was a 24-hour train ride and so it was like me on the top bunk, I got dibs on top bunk, and <laughs> was it a midnight train to Georgia? <laughs> no, oh, okay, in fact, good. we were nowhere near Georgia. <laughs> uh, I wish we kind of were closer. Of course, the heat was probably around Georgia, but anyways, uh, and I believe it was Jeremy Barrier was sleeping beneath. It was you know the bunks, and then uh, in the same sleeper car, there was two people we had no idea who they were, and uh, nice. you know when you're the uh, Caucasian. On a train in India, most people assume that you're there to talk a little bit about Jesus. Of course, that assumption. So did you get correct. that? Did you get that time? I mean, did y'all get to do that? We didn't get to do that. Okay. Uh, so was that a spoke, negative? They spoke a different language well, than true. us, but it was just you could kind of get that they were a little suspicious gotcha. of 
of why we were there. And so, yeah. Well, that makes sense. And, you know, uh, obviously, the reason you go on mission trips are not for the, the cool places, although a lot of times, even places that you don't think of as, like, ritzy and, and cool. I know, like, I heard Mike Brooks talk about staying in uh, what basically was, like, a little shepherd's hut in the foothills of yeah. the Himalayas, um, you know, when they'd be walking, and it'd just be, you know, just this concrete building that they would you know stay in or block building that they would stay in and we you know i i stayed in some some places up in the the foothills of the himalayas in nepal um and you know they weren't anything special but it was cool the location was pretty cool like you were talking about looking out over the beautiful city of singapore certainly cool to look out the window and see some of the mountains of the himalayan range and so um you know it just reminds me that god has made a really really big place like the earth is just it's huge and you start really thinking like had you ever been in this part of the country where we're at right now no i don't believe so i mean i've been to a lot of places i've driven through tennessee hundreds of times but there are so many little communities that i've never gotten to see and this is one that and there's um, people there that have things in common with you you know yeah it's just pretty cool to know and of course, you know, this may not rank as some people as the coolest places to stay, but, you know, Maywood Christian Camp, we've spent a lot of times in the cabins there. We were roommates in 112 Farrell Hall. Uh, Talk about interesting floor. places to stay. Yeah, exactly. Being uh, in a, you know, college dorm that is interesting in and of we, itself. We kind of referenced but... it as the Oval Office, you know. It's, That's we're true. both, you mm-hmm. know, presidents of Trizeta at some point or another, which you you know, if you know the history there, it's no longer a club, and it's probably mainly my fault. But anyways, yeah, uh, you were after me, yeah, so it wasn't so my fault. He had he took care of it. But anyways, a lot of good times in Farrell Hall that probably we should probably, stop the podcast. Yeah, I don't know that, that that's something we should talk about. Maybe in the future, but maybe yeah, maybe future. maybe maybe, so. maybe on an Instagram live. We just got off Instagram live. That's right. Had some great conversation. But guys, we just wanted to holler at you, let you know some of the cool places. Be sure. Uh, to email us, make a comment if you're watching the video of, of some cool places that you've stayed. Yeah, and uh, it, yeah, we would love to, to hear from you on that. And uh, we look forward, if the opportunities arise, I know there's a couple coming up uh, in this year where we're going to get to come hang out with some different people in different places. And uh, we're always excited about that. So we're, we're at New Hope right now up in... Um, as we said, somewhere around, uh, well, the community is called New Hope, but uh, here around Del Hollow Lake. Uh, and I'm going to be at New Hope Church of Christ in Florence in just a couple of, uh, in a month or so. So uh, I always look forward to seeing God's people, hanging out with God's people. And uh, we always enjoy getting to kind of hang out with you guys on the podcast. So hope you guys are doing well and hope you have a great week. Thanks for being with us for this episode of the Helping Healing Humor podcast. Be sure to download our free ebook, 28 Days of Focused Living at benandtravis.com and receive all of our helping healing and humor extra content directly in your inbox. We look forward to having you join us at the same Ben and Travis time, same Ben and Travis channel.